Okay, so the next step of our project that we, we are working on is to get your hands on a pattern to get started. So you already worked on identifying a client, getting their measurements, you even created an avatar. Um, you started designing something, so you should have a thumbnail of some kind of design to go off of. This module, we need to get a pattern somehow, okay? And there's different ways to get a pattern. There's more complicated ways, there's easier ways, but we really want our pattern to match our garment. Um, next module, we are going to quickly fit the pattern on the avatar you made to see if we're close or not. And then you're also gonna print out the pattern as well. So you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to fit the pattern on the avatar this module. I just wanna give you a heads up that the work is really trying to find a pattern, something to start with, and then we have time next week to really try to get it to fit your avatar. And then moving on, you guys are gonna actually start sewing an actual sample we will be off the computer at that point so don't feel overwhelmed if this, this is too much computer um, I think in a way maybe you'll even like it who knows so we need to get our hands on a pattern that we can open in the computer okay there's more than one way to do it so I'm in Clo right now I just opened it up I have my avatar open um, I saw that one student had kind of like a high-end uh, sweatshirt of some type I feel like for that particular project, he's kind of fortunate where he can go to modular configurator. I just clicked on this tab and it opened it up. I believe he's designing for a man, so obviously he would have his man avatar here. Um, you know, I'm just gonna double click this guy. Um, and I guess I will do maybe some shirts. Uh, maybe not these, maybe, you know what I might actually do is go back and click um, t-shirts, believe it or not. Yeah, and I might just start with one of these basic fits and then, you know, later you can change a fit so it's a little bit looser and not as tight. But, um, and I know this is for a man and I'm on a woman avatar, so it's kind of a mess, but let's just see what happens. So I can pick this collar. So if I double click it, I can do a crew neck collar and then I could choose, um, now it's obviously, I have the wrong avatar, so it's fitting a little funny, but I can still kind of manipulate it and get it to work. So I can select all my pattern pieces. I kind of zoomed out, I'm gonna zoom back in. Um, as long as you're on this tool, um, the keyboard shortcut's the letter A, I use it a lot. You can select your pattern pieces. I just clicked and dragged. They're all selected now. And then you can use this gizmo and see this green arrow that goes up and down. I would click on it and just bring it straight down. Um, I think that's important because it's all centered and stuff. So you don't wanna just like click all crazy. I really like using that arrow because it's only gonna go up and down. Then you can hit the number two. I love hitting two, four, six, eight, um, because it's really just a straight on perspective so you don't accidentally move stuff too crazy. So I'm actually gonna hit the number four because I know it's a little bit too forward. And then I can look for this part in the gizmo. See this blue arrow? That way I know I'm for sure. Uh-oh, I think, you know what? Edit undo, Command Z. I actually um, hit the, uh, I actually twisted it. So that was not what I wanted to do. Let me see here. Okay, so I actually hit this green thing, so I was rotating it, so I really wanted to do this blue arrow. That's pretty close. Um, I know it's running into our thigh here, but um, once you simulate it, we don't have to worry about that till next week, but we, you can probably pull it out. It's probably okay. Um, but and anyways, now I'll double click some arms. Click, click. Let's see where it puts the arms since I moved the body. Okay, so maybe it's a good idea to actually move it after you get all your pattern pieces on, now that I'm realizing. But I can select my arms. I'm still in that same tool with the triangle. I'm gonna hold the Shift key. The Shift key will let me select more things without deselecting the first thing. And then you can see the gizmo came up, so I can kind of move it around as well. Um, okay, that's probably pretty good. And then next week we'll worry about simulating it and trying to fit it and do changes to the pattern to get it to fit the way we want. This week we're just trying to get a pattern out. Um, so this is really what I think the one student who kind of had that sweatshirt thing could start with. Um, other tools bring to your attention if you wanted to start now is you can reshape your pattern. I'm zooming in here. Um, like let's say the neckline that wasn't really the neckline you were looking for. Um, you'd want to switch tools to this edit pattern tool. I really recommend just memorizing Z and A. A is select the whole pattern. Z selects just parts. So then you can click on these little anchor points and actually go in 
and change your pattern specifically. So right now I just changed the shape of the neckline. You can see now it's lower. All these little lines, they're stitches. So the stitches haven't been like pulled and tightened yet. They're just kind of loose and sitting there because we haven't simulated yet. You know, I can take out the edge. This is um, linked, so it's gonna mirror each side. Um, so you can, so if there are some changes you know you need to make um, to get your pattern to match your design, go ahead and use that Z tool. And then if you're like, okay, well I made a, a change to my side seam and you know, well it gets sewn to this side seam so they have to be the same length. You can check the length by clicking it, like that little segment 7.894. If I hold shift, I can click the other one and you can see on my mouse, it added them together. It says 18.367. I can click the other side where it does get sewn to. Um, I'll hold shift. Obviously that's not 18, right? That's 19. So maybe I need to make this guy longer. So you can select them both and you can right click and you can uh, change length. Ooh, maybe not, let me try that one more time. Maybe you have to just do one at a time, right click, change length. Okay, so it's not gonna let you do more than one. And you kind of do your math to figure, okay, well this guy needs to be an inch longer because it was only 18 inches and the other one was, okay, I did not really look at the numbers. But, um, but you can figure it out just by right clicking to change the links there. Also, if you're not sure about what gets sewn to what, I really like, you know, make sure you're in this cross. This is the same tool, really. I guess is this one up here. If you click one time on your sweatshirt on the 3D person, I'm like, oh, where's left side? You can see a little blue picking point. And then if you, I just right click to rotate around her. If I click on her backside, um, oh, there's a blue picking point too. So I, I know that this edge is next to this edge. So those two get sewn together. Um, sometimes that helps me kind of figure out like, oh wait, which part of the arm does this guy? So there's that guy. And then what part of the arm is he getting sewn to? Oh, he's getting sewn to that. Like that can be really helpful too if you're kind of lost in your pattern. Um, okay, so modular configurator, one way to get a pattern. Um, okay, I'm going to make a separate video to show you another way since this one's getting a little bit long.